days ago. He has been in touch. I'm in, advised with John Barnes, who needs to work on a restoration plan for Mr. Chapman. The state has no objection to a one cycle continuance until we get confirmation of restoration. Um, he's not able to do a plea. Uh, I, I've done some work on the case and That's continue fine. to work on it, but we'll do a continuance. We'll continue this plan. till 610. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. okay. I'm going to write it down for you, John. Thank you. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Be back in touch with me, okay? I'll you be find in touch with you. Right. Yes, I'm sir. in touch with everybody. All right. Best with the man up there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank and then you. next, Your Honor. Thank you, John. Thank you, Travis. Your Honor, uh, can I call Sherry A. Brooks? I have nothing in this case in years. Got it. Your Honor, Mr. Chris Brooks for the board of 23 CF 1522. Um, Your Honor, there's some. Um, Walmart video that we've been asking for a while for the state to produce. The state has reached out to the officer. Um, I'm hoping we'll get it and then we can make, she can make an assessment uh, on the situation, but we really don't have the baseline um, video to make a decision. Can we continue it? Um, hopefully one last cycle. I think without the evidence, you no, know, nothing to do but continue. Thank you. Continue to 610. Okay, thank you. And uh, I think Mr. Harper's ready to resume. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Judge, most of my cases are waivers. So I don't okay. know if you want to clear Yeah, on. let's let's go ahead and do the folks that are here. Ms. Farkas or Ms. Mr. Gates, either one of you all? If you'd like. I'm about to Whatever. say no. <laughs> if I'm given the floor, I'll take it. Your Honor, first I'm going to call is going to be Miss uh, Melissa Gibson. Miss Gibson. Did you say Gibson? Here, Your Honor. I have her as 194 on my docket, Your Honor. Got it. Thank you. Um, at this time, Your Honor, we're going to ask the court to continue Miss Gibson's case. Uh, we're going to be looking at scheduled depositions, and there's some conversation about maybe rescreening for drug court as well. Okay. State, any objection to continue until 610? That's fine, Judge. Without objection, the court will continue until 610. Stay in touch with your turn. Our next up guy is going to be Christopher Harris. Okay. And Mr. Harris is before the court in 23 CF 253. We do have a plea agreement for this case. I may approach, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. You may Please announce the plea. Mr. Harris has been completed no contest as charged in 23 CF 253. Be with little adjudication, placed on 60 months of probation to both counts, concurrent. We'd ask the court to waive the cost of supervision. $967 of court costs, 150 above the defender fee. No contact with either Mr. Jeffrey Simpler or Derek Simpler. Required to take the anger management course, which begins within 60 days. Cost of investigation, the amount of $144 to the Niceville Police Department. Maintain gainful employment or complete three job applications per week and then forfeit the firearm owner. And the state, I emailed about uh, returning the firearm to his father, who was the registered owner. No objection. I'll follow up with an order on that as well, Your Honor. Very good. And is this a downward departure? I think it is, Your Honor, based upon the score sheet. Uh, I would say negotiate plea agreement with the state. I'm trying to pull the score sheet to be sure. Uh, but if it is a downward departure, it's negotiated. Okay, based upon an uncourse negotiation, the court will accept that. Sir, would you raise your right hand? Judge, it is a downward departure. Very good. Do you swear or affirm that the information you're about to provide this court is the truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, sir. Okay, so you heard your attorney state the terms of your plea agreement, and I see those same terms are in the written plea agreement that you've signed. Did you read through this closely? Yes, sir. And you go over it in detail with your attorney. Make sure you had all the legal questions answered. Yes, 
Yes, sir. You understand you're waiving the right to go to a trial by entering into this plea. This will be a final resolution of your case here today. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Can you understand the terms of the of the plea agreement itself that your attorney just stated? Yes, sir. Any further questions that you have of the, your attorney? No, sir. Okay. And you believe this is in your best interest to enter into this? Yes, sir. Okay. Based upon that testimony, the court will accept your plea. There will be a withhold of adjudication on both counts. The court will sentence the defendant to 60 months probation on each count. They will be served concurrently. The court will waive the cost of supervision, standard court costs contained here in, uh, in the agreement. Importantly, there is going to be no contact with either Jeffrey Simpler or Derek Simpler. That's important. That's one side. I don't know what your relationship is with them, but even if they walked up to you in public with a smile on their face, you're going to be in violation. They're not. So take this very seriously. Stay away from them, okay? If they walk up to you, stay away. You walk away. It's up to you, okay? You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. And, of course, you have to start your anger management course within a, uh, two months, and then... Uh, cost of investigation and gainful employment as well. Any questions? No, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. You do have 30 days to appeal this. The next I've got is going to be Richard Harter. Mr. Harter should be number 22. Is it in the docket? Got it. We have a plea agreement to be filed with Ms. Kate Sharner. <coughs> and I spoke with Ms. Horshie and the plea agreement. You may. It's not going to be It's not? It's not. Are you in defense in agreement? Yes, Your Honor. We would stipulate this for sheet. Would you announce the terms of the, of the plea agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Uh, Harcher is going to be in the plea on contest as charged. Um, this agreement is to maintain or withhold of adjudication on all the felony counts, which should be counts one and two. He would be adjudicated on the misdemeanor counts, which are three through seven. And the two felony counts, 24 months of probation, will be concurrent. And the misdemeanor counts, which is three, four, five, six, and seven, time served. We'd ask the court to waive the cost of supervision, 615 court costs, 150 public defender fee, require to do a substance abuse evaluation within 30 days, recommend the treatment within 60 days, 24 hours of community service work. Maintain gainful employment or complete three job applications per week. Randomly analysis and a cost of investigation by the police department, eighty dollars and twenty-two cents. And that is the state's agreement, Your Honor. Very good, Mr. Harder. Would you raise your right hand, sir? Do you swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court? It's the truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, sir. So you heard your attorney state the terms of your plea agreement. Yes, I see I those did. same terms are in the written plea agreement that you've signed. Have you read through this closely? Yes, I did. And have you gone over it in detail with your attorney? Make sure you yes, have all your legal questions answered. Yes. Importantly, you're waiving the right to go to a trial, so you can have a final resolution of this case. Is that what you want to do here today? Exactly. You believe that's in your best interest? Yes, sir. And you have had all your legal questions answered by your attorney? Yes. Very good. Based upon that testimony, the court will accept your plea agreement. There'll be a, you've got two of your seven counts are felonies. On those two, which is count one and two, there'll be a withhold of adjudication and 24 months of probation on each of those counts, but they'll run at the same time. So that means they're concurrent. So 24 months. The other counts, the other five counts, are all misdemeanors. Counts three through seven. With those, you'll get credit for time served. There's no probation. You're done with those. Other than the the other court costs and whatnot. So you've got standard court costs. You must do the substance abuse evaluation within 30 days and then follow through with any recommendations. Maintain gainful employment, UAs, and then the little cost of investigation. Yes. Any question concerning any of this? No, we went over everything. Okay, very good. Check in with your probation as soon as you get out of here. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. You know, our next up is going to be Matthew Hines. Mr. Hines should be number 216 on the docket. Okay. You know, I'm reviewing the, the file. I don't have a score sheet in Mr. Hines' case. I just did not gain a downward departure for a plea, if I may approach, Your Honor. You may. Yeah.
Would you please announce the agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Hines will be entering a plea no contest as charged, be adjudicated guilty, sentenced to 10 days in the county jail with credit for all time served. State will stipulate that Mr. Hines has served the 10 days jail and would not need to be taken into custody. 515 court costs, 150 public defender fee. Uh, there'll be no action on any FTAs associated with this case. And then Mr. Hines has asked for 24 months to pay those outstanding fees. And Your Honor, the state is in agreement with that. Very good. Mr. Hines, would you raise your right hand, sir? You swear yes, sir. or affirm the information you're about to provide this court is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, sir. Okay, so you heard your attorney state the terms of your plea agreement, and I see you've signed the, the same, the written plea agreement. Have you read this closely and gone over it in yes, detail sir. with your attorney? Yes. Make sure you got all your legal questions answered. There's a lot goes into these pleas. A lot of waiving some valuable rights, the right to force the state to prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt, ability to confront witness, all those constitutional protections that you have. You're waiving those in order to get a final resolution. Is that what you want to do here today? Yes, sir. Believe it's in your best interest? Yes, sir. Okay. Nobody threatened, of course, should he get you to enter into this today? No contest. Okay. Very good. Based upon that testimony, the court will accept your plea. There will be adjudication of guilt on the single count. And you'll be sentenced to send 10 days in the county jail. You will get credit for all time served. And in fact, the state has already stated on the record in this agreement that you've already served those 10 days. So you're not going to have to serve any additional time, uh, incarcerated time. Uh, you will uh, have the standard fees and costs, and the state will take no action on the failures to appear uh, in this case. You will have 24 months to pay any of the outstanding court costs and fees. That's important so you don't yes, sir. have your driver's license taken away. Any questions? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. You know, next I've got is Kenneth Jacobs. Mr. Jacobs will be number two, two, three on the docket. Okay. At this time, Your Honor, if we could leave Mr. Jacobs as a plea continue. Um, the state's made a probation offer, and he just kind of wanted some time to think about it. So, can come back on docket day? Yes, sir. Right. Court will come continue this for a plea or continue on uh, April 15th. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, next thing I've got is going to be Heather Johnson. Got it. You know, this is Ms. Johnson making her way before the court and 23 CF 2801. At this time, if we could continue Ms. Johnson's case, this is our case. We have depositions currently set for June the 4th. Okay. State? The state has no objection, Your Honor. The court will continue this matter, get these uh, depositions done, uh, and continue until uh, June 10th. Thank uh, you, Your Honor. Your Honor, next I've got is going to be, uh, should be my last one that I'm ready for right now, it's going to be Tracy Kesterson. Okay. Like 231 about the Ms. Kesterson before the court in 24 CF 339. We do have a plea agreement to be filed. Um, it is a plea to a PTI, Your Honor. I've already given Officer Ross a copy of the signed uh, Richard and Venture program. So if I can approach with the plea agreement, Your Honor. You may. And this is not going to be down with departure, Your Honor. Thank you. You're in agreement with the score sheet? Yes, Your Honor. Would you go ahead and announce the, uh, the plea agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Kesterson will be entering a plea of no contest as charged. It's going to be withhold of adjudication. She'll be placed in the PTI program with the terms that were outlined in the pretrial intervention contract. Upon successful completion of the PTI program, uh, Ms. Kesterson will allow the withdrawal of plea. If the defendant, Ms. Kesterson, doesn't complete the program successfully, then she would proceed to sentencing at that time. Your Honor, the state is in agreement with that. Very good. Ms. Kesterson, would you raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court is the truth, nothing but the truth to help you out? Yes, sir. So I just got to have, have to ask you a few questions because I want to make sure you understand what you're doing and that you're entering it freely and voluntarily. This is a little bit of a unique, as you may have heard me describe it. 
in various points today. A little bit of a unique arrangement because on the one hand, you're getting a pretrial intervention. You've got, they've gone over all the details of that, right? What yes, are the sir. Terms of the contract. Okay. And if you if you complete that successfully, which you you absolutely should, then you get your case dismissed. That's very very positive. But if you don't, we skip right through the. You're waiving all the right to go to a trial. And you go right to a sentencing. It's like yes, you're admitting to the thing. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So it's kind of it's a high risk, high reward, or high, hopefully high reward, high risk. Yes. Okay. So but you understand the, how that goes, and if you've gone over this with your attorney, make sure you had uh, all your legal questions answered about this kind of this arrangement. Yes, I have. You believe it's in your best interest to do this. Yes. Sir. Okay. Based upon that, the court will accept your plea, and will be a withhold of adjudication. The defendant will be placed in the PTI program as outlined in the pretrial intervention contract. And upon successful completion, you'll be allowed um, to withdraw. The defendant would be allowed to withdraw our plea. And if you don't complete it, then we'll proceed to sentencing. Okay? Thank you. Okay, good luck. Your Honor, I will yield the floor to Ms. Farkas. Ms. Farkas. Thank you, Your Honor. I have only two clients who are here without waivers. The first okay. is Shauna Campbell. Okay. Who is approaching? Hold on a second, let me get that one. Docket, uh, Got it. Oh, sorry, 2023 CF 2325. Okay. Uh, this is Shauna Campbell. Uh, the state and the defense have reached an agreement for a pretrial intervention agreement, um, which is here. It has been signed by both Ms. Campbell and the state attorney. Uh, I've spoken with Zeta already, so Ms. Campbell will enter the plea to a lesser included offense, the misdemeanor of resisting without violence, and then we'll enter into the PTI. Okay. Would you like to? Very good. So this is the pretrial. So, so we're just doing a straight pretrial. We're not. We're actually not doing a plea agreement. Right, I guess that's this yeah. is a little different. There's two ways to do this. This is a straight PTI program. Usually do a plea. I'm yeah, sorry. I, do we do a plea? I'm sorry, we didn't have a plea. We did. Okay, we did so there's two ways to do this. Plea. Council, listen, there's two ways to do it. You can do it the, 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 the old way, the old fashioned way, was straight pretrial intervention. They go to a pretrial intervention, it's basically a diversion program. They complete their diversion, their PTI goes away. Yes, sir. They mess up. Fail it, just gets kicked back. Yes, Your Honor. We're back right where we are right now. Right. Dealing with the case as if the PTI never happened. But the new way they're doing it, they're putting some teeth in it. They're making you actually sign. I'm not making you. This is your up to you, ma'am. This is totally voluntary. But I want you to understand this. It's a part of a of, of a plea agreement. Yes. Where they're pleading, but you go do the PTI. If that if that works. It goes away just like that the was old my one understanding, did. Your Honor, but if it doesn't, but if it doesn't, if you fail, this one rather than coming back, no. And this is it what I explained automatically to goes to, to sentencing. Okay, you got to put that in an agreement. Okay, I that's all right. That's all right. We're working on it. These are very technical in some ways. Okay. I apologize, Your Honor. That's I only had the no, no, no. documents provided to me by the state, so I'll write up a plea agreement and we'll call Ms. Campbell back in a minute. You want to just do it now or come back on docket day? Let's Either do it now so she doesn't have to come back if we Very could. Good. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Your we Honor, could call. I'll have, I'll have a few people so she can do that. That's fine. Uh, sure. Uh, when... uh, we could call Dustin Chuckette next, 2023 CF 1795. Your Honor, uh, the state and the defense have reached an agreement in this case. Mr. Shawkett will be pleading to the first count, count one. Count two will be dismissed. Um, I can approach with the rest of the agreement. Very good. 
Thank you. Would you please announce the terms of the plea agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, as I said, uh, Mr. Shockett will be pleading to a withhold of adjudication in count one. Count two will be dismissed. Okay, hold on. On my, on my sheet, it says count one is the burglary of an unoccupied structure is count one. Excuse me. In yours, it says that. Yes. In mine, and according, I think, believe the charging document is that the vehicle theft is count one. No, it's all right. We got to get devils in the details. No, I put it on there. I just you know, switched them. So which one is being null prost? It's the it's a grand theft auto. The grand theft auto is being null prost. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Which I guess was count one. Is that right? On my docket, it says that's count one. Okay. But give me just a second. No. That the charging instrument says it is. That's the count one. Depends on whatever the charging document is, that's what we should use. Okay, that's Ms. Sharp, should have picked that up for you, Ms. Farkas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a team effort. <laughs> okay. Now, now let's start over. Again. Okay, uh, this is Dustin Chuckett, 2023 CF 1795. Uh, he will be pleading to a withhold of adjudication in uh, count one, burglary of an unoccupied structure, and count two will be dismissed. He's agreed to 24 months standard probation. No, no. Other way. <laughs> Just helps. Let's try that again. I don't know why mine is opposite. I'm sorry. Okay, he's pleading to a withhold of adjudication on count two, burglary of an unoccupied structure, dismissal of count one, which is a grand theft auto, 24 months standard probation, 515 in court costs, $150 public defender fee, 24 hours community service, no contact with the victim, uh, no trespassing at the location, which is 105 Beach Drive, Port Walton Beach, maintain employment, uh, complete the anti-theft class. Uh, no drugs or firearm use during, during supervision. Random UAs at least once once per month. No, that was the state's agreement. How do you pronounce your name, sir? Joe Quet? Yes, sir. Mr. Joe Quet, would you raise your right hand? You swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, sir. So. I know it was a little confusing. We were kind of going back and forth. We're going to make sure you're clear before you enter, enter this, okay? So the <coughs> grand theft charge has been dropped. Null process is a part of this, right? That's correct, right, the state? Yes, sir. Okay. So it's count two, the burglary of an unoccupied structure. That's what you're pleading to here today. Yes, sir. Okay? And you're pleading no contest, and there will be a withhold of adjudication on that. And you'll receive 24 months standard probation, standard fees and court costs, 24 hours of community service. Importantly, this is where you need to make sure and pay attention. Don't know the relationship you have with the victim, Antoine Khalil, so there's to be no contact. It's one-sided con no contact. That means he, uh, Khalil walks up to you in, in, in public, you're in violation, they're not, okay? No trespassing at at Dar, you know, Dar Contracting, which is on Beach Drive in Fort Walton Beach. Those are important. They, if you violate those, they immediately pull your probation. So take those real serious, whatever it is. Again, don't know all the individual circumstances. Just stay away and no contact. Okay. Yes, sir. Even if they're reaching out to you, no contact up to you. Okay. And you must maintain gainful employment. I assume this is gainful employment or, which should not be a problem nowadays because there's plenty of employment, but in the off chance that you, you're, not, you're not employed, you're, I assume you're, you're making application, right, Council? Yes, Your Honor. How many? Three. Three, three per week, I think is the three. typical number. And you must take the NI. Uh, 
theft class, of course, no drugs or firearms or random UAs. Why don't you stick this in? So if you don't, if you're not employed, you got to be seeking employment. All the stuff, stuff you probably would be doing anyway, right? Yes, sir. So stay in good contact with your probation officer. That's the key to this whole thing. Don't make them chase you around. Yes, sir. Some go to foul. You want them to be working with you, not working against you. <coughs> Any questions? No, sir. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. You have 30 days to appeal this. Thank you. Your Honor, if I can take my other one that I know is here, sure. Rashawn Hanton, number 203 on the dock. Yeah. Get a negotiated plea agreement for Mr. Hampton. If we could bring him back on uh, Docket Day to plead guilty right. for uh, entering the plea. Very good. We'll continue this till plea day on the 15th, which is next Monday, 9 a.m. for a plea. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we've got a couple that I have listed as not having attorneys. Maybe you are out here. Is Matthew Alford here? Your Honor, he was here earlier today, and I know that he talked to me, but... Was he going to be? Were you going to... He... I looked in benchmark, and he did not yet have the public defender, and I suggested that he check with the clerk. I don't know if he's... I guess he hasn't been before the court when I was outside the courtroom. He's not currently a PD client, so I can't represent anything, but other than he was here, and... I would have probably just gotten a continuous form if he'd have been my client. Well, you want me to appoint you and then yes. enter a... Well, he, he, based on his representation, yes. Okay. I think he will... The court, will. the court will appoint the public defender in this case, and the court will um, uh, continue the matter, because this is the uh, first time up. Yes, Continue sir. it to... Uh, Six, six ten at nine a.m. What was his first name? His name is Matthew, Matthew. Matthew. Sterling Alford. A L F O R D. Thank you. Twenty four C F two seventy. Okay. You, uh, also, John Chapman. John Leslie. John Chapman. was just here a few minutes ago. Your Honor continued him to June eighth, or I think it's June eighth. Who's was that your client? That was my client that we first first gentleman. Okay. Out. He also has one that's uh, that has no attorney on. It's the traffic case. Oh, that's just the ticket case. I know, case I, I, know I know, I know. Okay, so thank we'll, you, we'll continue the thank you. The TR should be the giveaway. Thank you. So we'll come back on, we continue just to 610. Uh, whatever the next court is yes. for okay. uh, out of custody, Judge. Okay. I could so, remember it's 6 8 or 610. Okay, so who's here? 610. 610. That thinks they're supposed to be. Do you have any of your clients here? I have a couple. That okay, let's do yours and then we'll figure out who's I, I left. I have several that are here that I need to call. Okay, here. that's I fine. I just don't want people hanging out yeah. that they don't know. Most of them are mine. Your Honor. Okay, then we'll go for it. Mr. <laughs> Harper. Andrew Garrett. He's number 133 on my docket, Judge. Okay, got it. Judge, um, we have continued this case uh, a little bit so that he can get his driver's license with respect to 23 CF 2772. He has almost got his driver's license. I anticipate that he should be able to get that in um, by the next pretrial. So if we can give one last continuance, this will be a, a resolution of that cycle, Judge. Very good. We'll continue this to 610 at 9 a.m. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. 610. I appreciate it. Uh, the next one that I have that's out of custody, Judge. Um, Thomas Brundage, number 258 on the docket. He's actually on my docket, still listed with the public defender. Um, Judge, apparently we are just appointed to this case. Okay. Um, I would ask to continue this to 610. Mr. Hart, would you have discovery? Uh, yeah, I don't think we Okay, you just were appointed. Yeah. Okay, I'll make sure so that gets over to you. You have that to the ORCC appointment. Okay. So the court will note the appointment of the uh, Regional Conflict Council, and the court will continue this matter until 610, 
June 10th at 9 a.m. just to give you a chance to meet up with your attorney and figure out where you're going with this, okay? All right, thank you. Uh, the next one, Judge 219 on the docket, Jason Hudson. Mr. Hudson is present as well. This is also with the public defender. Uh, apparently, we're just appointed on this as well. And again, this is a brand new case. The court will continue this matter until June 10th. Confirm that the ORCC has been appointed back there. Yeah. Okay. And I have one more that's out of custody, Mr. Hildebrand. Number 137 on this office. Okay. Judge, I believe this is the first time up. I have not spoken to Mr. Hildebrand other than today in courts. So I'd ask to move this to 610 so we can have an appointment and go over discovery. Very good. This is a brand new case, so the court will continue until June 10th, 9 a.m. Thank you. With your attorney. Yes, Thank sir. you, Judge. The rest are all waivers. Okay. Your Honor, I have several uh, in court. I think they're all continuances. Um, first up would be Shannon L. Allman. Ms. Allman is 259 on the docket, 23CF2805, A-L-L-M-O-N. Hold on just a second. Shannon, very good, you got it? Yes, Your Honor. I would ask for her to be able to return on docket day uh, for plea or continue. We have a plea deal worked out, so please anticipate it. The court will continue this matter until docket day, which is next Monday, 9 a.m., without subpoenas. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, next is Jessica A. Baum, B-A-U-M. D as in dog? B as in boy. Uh, 264 on the docket, Your Honor. B-A-U-M. Yes, Your Honor. Very good. Thank 23 you. CF 2814. Uh, Your Honor, Ms. Uh, Sharpless indicated, Assistant State Attorney Sharpless indicated that um, she wanted Ms. Baum to consider a specialty court. Uh, I am uh, asking if we could go ahead and continue this for one cycle. She's going to meet with me and decide whether that's in her best interest, but it is. It's the uh, it's this, I think it's the first time up, certainly the first time up when she's out of custody and we're working on her, her situation, Your Honor. It's, Your Honor. A, it's a new case, so the court will continue that, until 610. That'd I'm be sorry. acceptable to the state, Your Honor. Very good. We'll continue to June 10th. Thank you, Make sure and communicate with your attorney before then, okay? Oh, Judge, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, she also has children that are in the custody of, of her mother and she was seeking clarity on the, the no contact order one of the two alleged victims was uh, her mother Teresa Baum and or the other was Robert Rusa R-O-O-S-A and she is simply wanting clarity that she because Miss Baum I think is uh, has custody of the children that Jessica Baum, my client, is allowed to have contact with her children and incidental contact with Teresa Baum just for purposes of talking to her children. Um, do you do you see them face to face or is it just telephone? Uh, what, what's the basis of, of the custody? Is there, is there a DCF? There's okay. no custody. Me and their father have custody, but my mom watches them during the day because they go to school in Niceville and their dad lives in Mossy Head. I was living up with my mom at the time when all this happened. So she's she wants to I'm sorry. Judge. No. I'm just kind of trying to think this through. She um, just didn't want to get any trouble for no. incidental contact with her mother just by getting the children on the phone or so forth. Do you actually intend to see the children as much as you can? I want to, yes. And with the no contact, I don't want to go over there. And no, you're absolutely right. But but you, that what that does is it means that you all need to put your heads together and be very detailed about what. In other words, let me just say this to you. 
if you give me with the state a stipulated no contact order laying out some but you need to think it through specifically you okay. can say things like you know telephone contact is allowed court would be amenable to that how do you normally transfer the kid or see the kids um, um, well before all this happened i was living with my mom okay she can't live with her mom right the, no. like, the other alleged their father and mossy head drops them off at my mom's every morning like it's all okay, so all when are you going when would you be contacting them and well, they're all just during the day i'm like, sorry because that's when i'll see them during the day like okay. so i don't have to go because it's kind of hard because i don't want to have contact with their father either really and that's the only person that i could but go you, you guys need this, this is not a simple little operation this is there's a lot of details okay your honor and, and i i'm open to trying to worry but you need to be very precise this isn't just oh well we can just bounce over there and not Yes. We're not going to talk to each other. Something. It's I mean, if it was like something like on the phone, no problem. But when you're when you're when you're having contact, ma'am, I am a hundred percent in favor of you having contact with your children. Okay. I want you to know that. But you guys got in a mess now, and there's issues, and you've got to get in detail in order to not avoid further conflict. And your honors um, i've given her my card um, and she knows her next court day so she's going to call my office tomorrow set an appointment and i'll meet with her or talk to her by phone in detail about what well, if you all get me a stipulated order and then I'll, I'll reach out I'll to miss sharpless I, I think we can work it out yeah. meanwhile we can continue her to the next cycle as the court stated six okay very good thank you our next is uh, James R. Bergeron. Mr. Bergeron is B E R G E R O N. That's docket number 266. And it's, he's before the court in 24 CF 404. If I may just have him return on docket day for a plea or continue, Your Honor, a plea is anticipated. He's signed an agreement. We've worked it out with Ms. Giardina. Assistant State Attorney Giardina. Very good. Are you still Giardina? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we'll continue this till 415 without subpoenas for a plea. It's, you'll be here at 9 a.m., sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Next is uh, Jack P. Boardman. Somebody left a beautiful pen here, but I don't know who's that one. It stays up there, Steve. Oh, that's, that's, the, oh, that's the new decor decorations. <laughs> That's so people can sign stuff, Steve. I'm sorry, uh, I just didn't want it to. So people don't put it in their pockets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Your Honor, uh, next before the court is Jack P. Boardman. Mr. Boardman is docket 267. Uh, he is before the court in 23 CF 1296. Um, we had, I had been discussing with the state the possibility of a PTI for Mr. Boardman. He has no priors. The state um, wasn't willing to do that. Um, so I need to meet with him to discuss the state's, uh, what the state is willing to do and decide if we are going to take a deposition of the alleged victim this cycle. We'll make that decision and pursue any deposition that's needed this cycle. So it could be ready for trial next cycle. Um, I, I basically, Your Honor, this is one where I don't see a critical need to the deposition, but uh, I wanted him to know we, we've got to bring it in for a landing this cycle. So we'll continue this, and unless something unusual happens, this will either plea it or we'll let's tee it up and go to trial. Okay. <coughs> So, Your Honor, his next court date will be June 10th. June 10th, 9 a.m. Okay. okay. I got my card. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my only other out of custody is, um, I, and I have a bunch of waivers, Your Honor, but my out of custody um, is Darren Wade Cuellar. C-U-E-L-L-A-R. 
Mr. Cuellar is approaching. He is 277 on the docket. Okay. 23 CF 1696. And Your Honor, if I if I may approach with Mr. Cuellar and the state. Back Home Bakery Cafe is two blocks from the courthouse on its Crestview's historic Main Street. We serve handmade pastries, espresso, and lunch items. And we're open Tuesday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., serving lunch from 11 to 2. We hope to see you soon. Hello, I am Bonnie from Bonnie Be Healthy here in Crestview. We have been serving the area since 1999. We're an alternative health food store. If you're interested in uh, bettering your health, we'd like to invite you to stop by. We're located in Court Plaza. Stop by and let us help you be healthy. I'm Amanda Gaskin with Briar Pratt Realty. Helping qualified heroes save money is my passion. When I help a hero buy or sell a home, they receive a check from Homes for Heroes. Check out amandasheroes.com for more information. For more than 70 years, the sweet aroma of the Crestview's Coney Islands burgers and hot dogs has permeated the downtown area. If you have not experienced the unique flavor of Crestview's Coney Islands burgers and hot dogs, then I encourage you to join us for lunch. Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m., Friday from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m., and Saturday from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. We're located in historic downtown Crestview at 107 North Main Street. Call 850-683-1045. CQ Roofing, your hometown roofer since 1999. We're state licensed and insured, family owned and operated with 24 years of local service. We specialize in shingles and metal, re-roofs, repairs, and leak specialists. For all of your roofing needs, call us today or visit our website at cqroofing.com. CQ Roofing, your hometown roofer. Today's Tire Pros makes buying tires simpler. They offer a straightforward approach to tire and auto service that includes nationwide warranties, a hassle-free experience, and a great selection of Michelin tires. No matter what you drive or where you have driven, Michelin has a tire to fit any need. Visit our store in Crestview or online at dacetirepros.com. Tire pros love the drive. Hey, I'm David at Family Vision of Crestview. We've been providing excellent optical service for Northwest Florida for over 34 years. Come in and let us take care of you.
That is correct. It, it will begin with a matter of the uh, Nelson hearing. The Nelson hearing. Thank you. We're only doing the Nelson hearing. We'll only be doing the Nelson hearing. Only hearing the Nelson hearing. Right. We won't have time in the morning to do any other hearing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Your Honor, Ms. I have Ms. Campbell and I have another client who also arrived. Okay. Who do you want to call? Uh, let's call Ms. Shauna Campbell first. Shauna Campbell. Docket 2023-CF-2325. Uh, this is the PTI. Right. Uh, I now have a signed plea agreement, if I can Very good. Thank you. Okay. Your Honor, the terms of the PTI, uh, Ms. Campbell agrees to enter and successfully complete the pretrial intervention program in which she will complete 24 hours of community service. Uh, if she does successfully complete the PTI, the case will be dismissed. If she does not, she will go directly to sentencing. And I believe that she already has an appointment to meet with Zeta tomorrow at 1230 to go over the PTI program. Okay. But have you, do you, do you understand? Well, let me raise your hand and be swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court is the truth, nothing but the truth, so I hope you got it. Yes, Your Honor. So b before I accept this, though, I've got to make sure that you understand what the, basically the terms of the pretrial intervention part. Have you had somebody go over that with you? Have you read through it with your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. Make sure you at least have basic understanding, and you're going to work with the probation and those folks to execute it, but you understand the basic terms. That's why I don't want you to go, oh, I didn't realize I had to do this. Do you feel like you have a basic understanding of the PTI program? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and you believe that this, it's a little bit of a unique arrangement, so I've coined a new phrase here, risk, high risk, high reward, okay, because you go automatically right to sentencing if you fail on the PTI. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. That puts you a little more at risk, okay? You understand that? You believe this is in your best interest? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and you have had all your legal questions answered by your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. And have you read through the plea agreement? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. The court will accept your plea agreement and uh, where the defendant will uh, be placed in the PTI program, pretrial intervention. And if you successfully complete, your case will be dismissed. If not, we'll come back and go to sentencing which case you'll still have an attorney to argue for you and whatnot, but we'll skip the adjudication part. Okay? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. You have 30 days to appeal. Thank you. Your Honor, um, I also have Joseph Evans, at docket 2023 CF1658. Uh, I learned about conflict in this case in the last week. Uh, my assistant is going to be filing the motion to withdraw. Um, but I wasn't able to get a hold of Mr. Evans before now, so we will be filing a motion to withdraw the case. Okay. Um, I assume ORCC will get this case. So, Mr. Evans, the uh, chief uh, defense counsel for the ORCC is Mr. Harper. And so you need to call and make an appointment and everything. But the court will go ahead and just, I'm going to continue this through the next cycle so you have a chance to meet with your attorney. Go through that. June 10th. I'm sorry. June 10th. Okay, I just wanted to write it down for him. June 10th, 9 a.m. Billy, I've done it a few times. Case number 23 CF 2407. So, Mr. Jordan, you're you're wanting to have an attorney appointed from the public defenders? Is that what yes, you're sir, asking please. for? Okay. Court will appoint the public defender, but you, the court, the 
court will appoint provisionally. You got to go down and fill out the application, and make okay. sure that you qualify. But the court will appoint the public defender. And we'll go ahead and continue this until six ten at nine a.m. Thank you, sir. Cycle. Make sure and meet up with your attorney in the interim. Do we know who's who would be appointed? Be fine, your honor. Uh, so after you get approved and all that. Okay. Thank you, sir. Call that gentleman and make an appointment. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Okay. What do we want to do? You guys? Judge, I can go through my waivers up there. Not okay. Let's do it. Dude, what about Mr. Hudson? I did. I did. Okay. I wasn't sure. Uh, on Mr. Hudson, the court hadn't signed the order relieving the PD at that. So is the court going to leave the PD's office? Jason Hudson, Your Honor. I'll... I mean, I, I will. you saying I haven't signed it yet? Yes, Your Honor. I, I have on my last notes. It's Jason Hudson, 24 CF 203. The order was still pending. I don't know whether it might have been signed. We signed. About it's, orders yeah, sure. It's, it's the saying. time of the cycle where there is a bunch of orders in the courts, so I went and pressed yeah. on it. Harper, okay, Harper has been appointed on that case. Thank you, Your Honor. What case was that? <laughs> <laughs> you have to guess. You are, what's the case? All called? of them. 24 <laughs> CF 203. It's not anything we're dealing with today. Um, Judge, if I could start with Stephen Arnold, number 114. On the docket, there's a waiver of appearance. In that case, I filed a motion to dismiss. Um, I'd like to continue this. Um, I think we're in the process of getting a couple of these motions set for hearings. Okay. So I'd ask to move this to 610. Okay, we'll continue this till 610. The next case that I have, Judge, I do not have a waiver. This is Joshua Biglin, number 115. He's obviously not present. He's got a myriad of health problems. Um, he was in the hospital for an extended period of time, but he got out. Um, I don't know where he is, and unfortunately due to his, um, he's homeless, and I have no way of getting a hold of him. I don't have a phone number, unfortunately. What, what I would request is that, given the fact that he does have health problems, the court may recall he's the young man with the, the little walker. Um, I think he had some sort of stroke or something in the hospital. That's why he was in there. If the court would entertain doing a signature bond just to sort of like refresh his memory that he's got court, um, I just have no way of getting a hold of him, Judge. Sorry, Judge, I'm looking to see if he was. Was he actually at court? I don't think he was here last time, the time before he was. If I recall correctly, he was not present the last court date, and I tried to find any phone number for him or means of communicating with him, and I didn't. Your Honor, on 219, he was here and appeared with Mr. Harper. He was told of the March 19th day. On March 19th, he was not, he did not appear with his attorney, and it was continued to this day. Your Honor, at this time, the state is asking for a KBS. What are you requesting as, as far as the judge? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with the case we had to do, put him on notice. But you're, you're suggesting to, to do an, uh, I, I'm some a, kind of signature bond on the case? Some sort of bond because I know that he'll be a hassle for the, for the jail to deal with due to his, he's, he's well, not really ambulatory. I mean, when, you, when you look at the, what he's being charged with, again, I don't know his history. That's why I'm looking to the state if this. If this guy is uh, some uh, bad dude with a violent past, please jump up and let me know because I'm I'd be uh, obliged to no bond him. But he's here on a petty, petty, petty larceny, and he's homeless, and he's got major health problems. It would seem to be that a signature bond would be a little. Um, I understand the court's concern. I'm looking for. His score sheet, Your Honor, because I don't know his history off the top of my head. You don't know the history of every one of your. Uh, I do not, unfortunately. I wish I had that kind of memory, but I don't, Judge. 
It's a burden. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and issue a $1,500 signature bond on the KPS. And the court is announcing on the record if the state has major issues with that, the court would be open to revisit the bond yes, if there's a problem. I understand. But it seems that we don't have with what we've got in front of us, let's go ahead and do that. I think that's a better solution. Thank you, Judge. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, the next one I have is Timothy Blankenship. There's a waiver. Um, I have a motion to dismiss. He's got an appointment with me this Friday to sign that in front of our secretary notary, um, and I will get that filed. I'd like to bring him back on 415 just to make sure that we're keeping a short lease on this and make sure he signs it, to be honest with you. Okay, we'll continue till 415 at 9 a.m. The next one, a waiver, is Vera Carroll, a 23 CF 299. Um, Judge, this is a case that's, she's, she's a nursing student, and um, are you okay with clear continue to bring her back on docket date and see if we can resolve it? Clear if, continue, Judge. If we can bring her back on docket day, Judge, um, this will be an eventual plea. I'm just trying to find something that doesn't jeopardize her long-term future. So when are we coming back? Uh, docket day, Judge. Okay. Sure continue until docket day 415 and 9 the next one is Marcus Clark, also a waiver. Uh, we just de did depositions in this case. The investigator during the depot indicated that there was a lot of discovery, cell phone download. Um, I talked to the to state, I think it's like a terabyte. It was, it's like a terabyte of information, which is why it did not send when it was sent. So I'm going to um, have either have Mr. Is oh gosh, I'm sorry, Mr. Harper. Terabyte. Is that Wait, a lot? It's large. That's a lot, Judge. Uh, that's it's. It, let's just say it came on a hard drive from the sheriff's office on like a two hundred dollar hard drive. So it's it, that's it's a lot of information. Um, either have Mr. What is the, what is the information? What are, it's what? a cell phone download. It's a cell phone download. Allegedly, he's he's been part of a conspiracy to to do this particular operation, Judge. Yes. And I just need to coordinate um, okay. with the state. And, and, and your honor actually I, I either need mr. Harper to give me that but also investigator Walters printed it out so I may just be able to make copies for you but oh. it's a it's that big binder so. okay. Okay. if I can set this for 610 judge we'll continue to 610 uh, the next waiver that I have <clears throat> actually this is not a waiver this is number uh, 123 on the docket Vince Dennis um, Mr. Dennis is not here, Judge. I don't know why he's not present. It would have been my intent to do the deposition in this, in this case of the victim. Um, I have not had any contact with Mr. Dennis. Your State would request KPS. State will issue no bond KPS. <clears throat> the next one, Judge, is Marquise Fawnville, number 131 on the docket. He's what about me. Sherry Dorgan? Oh, I apologize. It's all right. No, Sherry Dorgan is a waiver. Um, we're going to leave that separate player trial, bring her back on docket day. Okay. Um, I think we announced last, continuous last time. We had some uh, technical issues with discovery. Um, I think we've got that sorted out. The state just showed me a not favorable video. Um, I just need to review that with my clients. Um, we'll leave a separate player trial this time. Very good. Um, I apologize, I lost my track. Marquise Fonville. Marquise Fonville, number 131, Judge. Um, he had a number of misdemeanors that were elevated to a felony. Um, they all arise out of similar facts and circumstances. Um, if we can continue this to 610, I'll need to do depositions. There, um, it's similar to that other case in that this is a county. How would misdemeanors elevate to felonies? Because it had to do with, I think, um, fraudulent instruments. Um, he was counterfeit bills. Just the number of them? I, I think the, the amounts or the aggregate amounts? Yes, sir. It, it was. Okay. So, what are we doing with Mr. Fonville? If we can set this for 610. State? Your Honor, that's fine. 
a new case, so we'll continue to 16. Uh, the next one, Judge, I believe is Wendy Green, number 136 on the docket. There's a waiver in her case. Okay. Um, 23 CF 1997. Judge, if we can set this for 415, she's got a misdemeanor court on that day as well. She'll be entering a plea to both this and the misdemeanor at the same time. Okay, come back on 415 for a plea. And that, that would be plea continue, correct, Judge? Yeah, we're not, sure. we're not going to trial. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next case is 138 Pamela Hinson. I've spoken to the state about this. We have one outstanding depot. Um, we tried to do this earlier, but the deponent apparently lives out of state in Alabama now, so we just need to reschedule that depot. I'm asking for one more continuance. Um, oh, what was that case? Pamela Hinson. Thank you. 23 CF 818. Continue to 610. Yes, Judge. And I think, given the age of this case, I'm fine with that being the last continuance. The state Very would agree. Nice. The court would note in the clerk's minutes that it'll be the last continuance. Thank you. Judge, the next one is Joshua Huerta, uh, number 140 on the dockets. Um, there's a waiver in this case as well. He's an active duty Air Force guy. Um, he's in the process of getting his driver's license. He won't be able to get it until May. Um, so I'm asking for a continuous 610. Um, he should show up, uh, license in hand, and we'll resolve this with a plea. We'll continue this till 610. Uh, the next case is Chantel Johnson, number 143, before the court on 23 CF 1810, 23 CF 1863. There's a waiver in those cases. Bless you. Thank you. Um, judge, I think the state and I talked about this, and I think that um, we're going to do depositions in this case, specifically, I think, of possibly. Yeah, and so if we can just set this for 610, um, I think my client is amenable to that. We'll continue this till 610. The next one, Judge, is number 145 on the docket, Jeremy Knox. There's a waiver of appearance in his case. <clears throat> I don't know if the state has an announcement at this moment on this case. The state will announce an all process on this case. The whole case? That's correct. Very good. Do I need to follow up with a written all process, Judge? Yes. Okay. Just to pay for them, just make sure the file is complete. Uh, Judge, the next case that I have is Angelica Starkweather, 23 CF 19, 23 CF 533, 23 CF 587, 23 CF 944. Judge, um, Ms. Starkweather has been in rehab. She's done well. I think she's about to complete the rehab. Um, if we can set this for 415, um, just to update the state on, on her condition currently. Um, I'm hoping that we can come to a resolution on this. Okay, very good. Please continue, Judge. Continue at 4.15. Okay, <clears throat> the next one that I have is Kelly Young, number 149 on the dockets. There's a waiver of appearance in her case, 23 CF 1876. Judge, I've spoken to the states. Um, I've been attempting to get some reciprocal discovery. My client has access to a Facebook account that has some things that are that should be exculpatory for her, um, and I need to provide that to the states. Um, I would ask for a continuous to 610 uh, <coughs> to get that, and we'll do depositions in the interim as well. That sounds lovely. <laughs> okay, we'll continue that till 610. <laughs> the last one I have is uh, number 150 on the docket, Michael Bryan. Um, 22 CF 655, there's a waiver of appearance in that case. Um, judge, I believe there is a hearing next week. The 16th, I believe it's on, it's on April 16th. If we can set this for, let's just do a full cycle and then if we've got another hearing in the interim, we'll just have that. Yes, hearing. Judge, I think the, that resolves in some way. I don't the know. 16th should be controlling, hopefully. Oh, really? We'll just put it for a stopgap. On 610. Thank you, Judge. I believe that's all I have. All right. On that last case, it's it's. Uh, I've got it under uh, Catherine Jaquette's. Should yes. you put it under your name? No, Judge. Well, you can. What happens is that that case transferred divisions. Right. Miss um, Jaquette had done a significant amount of work, and she insists on keeping. 
And I have no objection. <laughs> so where is she now? Uh, she is, I think she had Judge Brown. I, I think Judge Brown has okay. So she's still on it, though? Yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. It's Ms. Jacobs' case. So you're not, you're not wanting to? I, I think so. No, I have enough cases. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Yes, have a good day, Mr. Harper. Yes, sir. You too. Yes, sir. Next. Uh, who wishes to? Uh, I say just run the docket, yeah. Your Honor. Make it easy. Let's okay. do it. Ms. Farkas, you're up. Oh, that's exciting. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Still may want the court to call the docket. Yes. I would like that. Perillo. 23 CF 2051. Yes, Your Honor. I filed a waiver of appearance for Mr. Carrillo. Um, my office just filed some reciprocal discovery at the end of March. Um, and I've been discussing the case with the state attorney who would like to discuss with the alleged victim a little more if we could have another continuance. Please. We'll continue until 610. Thank you, Your Honor. Carter. Chadwick Carter. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I filed a notice. Three CF twelve. Oh, I apologize. I apologize, Your Honor. Um, Chadwick Carter. I spoke with the state about this one as well. Filed a notice of intent to rely on a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. I believe the state is going to be asking for a second psych evaluation. Yes, Your Honor. Do you already have a psych evaluation? Yes. Yes. We we got one, and I believe the state would like a second one. Okay. We need an order. Yes, Your Honor. I will send the court an order. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and continue this just to kind of keep tracking it until 610, but get that order to me uh, directly so we can keep the process moving. Thank you. Dusado Chase. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, 2024 CF 307. I also filed a waiver for Mr. Chase. Um, this is the first time the case is up. I need to review the discovery with my client. If we could yes, have a continuance. Please continue until 610. Tristan Clark. Uh, Your Honor, there's a interesting, I guess, a unique situation with this case. The state has agreed a, to a no plea PTI, a 10 month PTI, um, in which Mr. Clark will pay a restitution and then after 10 months the, the case will be dismissed. Um, so I need to get the PTI agreement from the state and we can file that. So let's go ahead and separately. just do a general continuance until 610 and if you get the PTI, then this will come off the dock. Thank you, Your Honor. Danielle Klein. Yes, Your Honor. We received the offer and, oh, I'm so sorry, 2023 CF 1993. Uh, we received the offer and a pretty large amount of discovery um, end of February. I've had a phone appointment with Ms. Klein, but I want to go over the discovery in person with her. If we can... still 16. Thank you. Dwayne Cobb. Uh, Your Honor, this is the first time the case is up. We just got a bunch where, of where discovery. Today, oh, I'm so sorry, Dwayne <laughs> Cobb, 2023 CF 2669. Uh, where are we at? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. This is the second time the case is up for a pretrial conference, but we, I haven't gotten over the discovery yet with my client. We got it at the end of January and February, and I haven't met with him yet. Okay, so is that? If we could continue soon it. Coming? Are you anticipating meeting with him soon? Yes, Your Honor. I spoke with him briefly on the phone, but he'd like to come Do into the office. Do you anticipate having any other discovery? I, mean, you... I don't think so. I will, of course, stay in contact with the state, but I think okay. that we have. Okay, so most hopefully of it. we'll see where this case is going next cycle. Yes, Your Honor. I believe Gregory Caulfield is next. Okay. There's two dockets, 2022 CF 377, 2022 CF 2028. He has another open case uh, with a private attorney um, uh, with Christine Basso. Uh, 
ASA Sharpless and I are essentially just tracking that case. I believe it was just continued to Monday. That case was continued to Monday and they're expecting a resolution. Would this be a universal resolution? That's my hope. <laughs> so then we need to continue until Monday, right? Yes, yes that sure. works. Continue to 4.15 and 9 a.m. Thank you. Uh, next, I have Justin Collado, 2023 CF 2198. Um, Your Honor, I met with Mr. Collado and I have been speaking with the state attorney. My client is not interested in the offer at this time. If we could have another continuance for me to continue negotiating. How's the discovery? I think we have everything. Okay, so is this the last continuance? Is there any reason to continue it beyond? Tell your client. Let's, I don't. Let's I don't go. Think so. Let's negotiate or let's go to trial. It's always, Thank you. It's Your always Honor. a good option. Who's on this case? That's my. It's mine, Your Honor. Um, We're in contact Ms. about Sharpless it. Sharpless is always ready to go to trial. <laughs> uh, next, I have Gavin Collier, 2023 CF 2579. Um, we received the FDLE at the end of February. Uh, so I would like a chance to discuss it a little bit further with my client if we could have a continuance to June. Continue until June, June 10th, 9 a.m. Uh, next I have Jeffrey Collins, 2023 CF 1457. Depositions of the alleged victim were scheduled for April 4th. Um, the alleged victim did not show up to the depositions, so I believe the state is going to try to get in contact with them again, and we'll decide if we need to reschedule the depositions or not, if we could have a continuance to sort it out. State? Your Honor, that's, that's fine. Um, I, I have been trying to do that, but I'm in, was in the process of getting ready and sent them a letter, so I need to see if that letter comes back or not. That's fine. That's okay. Continue this until 610. Uh, next up, I have Jace Conway, 2023 CF 2427. This is the second pretrial conference date, but we just received discovery um, March 28th. So I have, if I could have a continuance to go over it with my client, please. Very good. Continue to 610. Uh, Your Honor, next I have, excuse me, Jordan Couch, 2023 CF 2687. Uh, Your Honor, we received the FDLE report and it was a little different than we expected. So I've been speaking with the state about this case and I think we need a little more time to negotiate if we could. That's correct, Your Honor. Continue this till 610. Michael Coward. Uh, Michael Coward, 2023 CF 1444. I believe the state has an announcement in this case. Your Honor, this state will be no crossing in Michael Coward's case. Very good. Next. Uh, next, I have Nicholas Kramer, 2024 CF 0080. Uh, similarly, in this case, the depositions of the alleged victim were scheduled for April 4th, and the, they did not show. So if we could have a continuance to try to do those depositions is this, again. Is this the same case? No. No, it's a different case, Your Honor. It's a different case. We'll continue to 610. Do we know, are we in contact with the victims? Uh, Your Honor, I did send a letter because it's not, I also sent a letter in this case. It's not like him to not show up, so... Hopefully that letter will prompt a phone call. Go ahead. 
Thank you, Your Honor. Next up, I have Deidre Crowley, 2024 CF 314. This is the first pretrial conference date. Um, we got Continue discovery. To six, Thank you. <laughs> Colbreth. Uh, we have depositions, sorry, 2023 CF 1247. We have depositions set in this case for April 30th. So if we could have a continuance. We'll continue still 610. Thank you. Uh, next up, I have Joshua Davis, 2023 CF 2710. Uh, this is the second pretrial conference date, but we just received some additional discovery. I'm speaking with a state attorney if we could have a continuance to June. Continue to 610. The state has no objections. Uh, next, Your Honor, I have uh, Del Rosario, uh, 2023 CF 1809. Uh, I just met with my client a week ago, and I believe there are some uh, suppression issues in this case, some pretty serious issues I need to discuss with the state. If we could have a continuance. For continue to 610. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, next I have Gabriel Del Toro, 2023 CF 1424. Uh, depositions are set in this case for May 14th. Um, and I'm also waiting on a, a psych eval from Dr. McDonald. Um, should be filed any day. So if we could have a continuance to June. Continue to 610. Uh, Del Toro. Right? Yes, yeah, Gabriel. Next, I have Christopher Dixon, 2023 CF 2224. Um, depositions were set for April 4th, and the alleged victim in this case has moved out of state, so they were unable to serve the subpoena. So I need to see if we need to reset the depositions or if something else is going to happen, if we could have a continuance. State? Your Honor, that's. True, I don't, is this the case where I got you a new address? I moved to Alabama, I don't know if we did. Okay. It was that same day, April 4th. Okay. So. We'll continue this till 610. Uh, Your Honor, next I have Kirby Dixon, 2023 CF 816. Um, we received the FDLE in this case, and I think the offer might potentially change a little bit as of yesterday. So if I could have a continuance to discuss that with my client. State? Uh, yeah, Your Honor, we do need to talk, but I do think we need a continuance in this case. Okay, this is a complicated case, yes. but it's been yes. a year, so. Yes, Your Honor. You need to figure out where we're going with it. Joseph Dobson. Your Honor, this is the first time the case is up. I'd like a chance to review the offer with my client. Um, I just got it in March. 10. Thank you. Jareel Drones. Similarly, Your Honor. This is the first time. time. <laughs> Thank Continue you. Continue it to 610. Uh, next, I have uh, Cheyenne Dumas. Uh, also, I've met with her a couple times already and filed reciprocal discovery, so the state and I are in contact about this case. We could continue it. That is correct, Your Honor. Okay, it's a brand new case, so we'll continue to 610. June Duncan. Your Honor, we conducted depositions successfully in this case on April 4th of uh, the alleged victim and uh, one of the witnesses. If I could have a continuance 
because the depositions just happened, so the state and I can discuss it. I believe this would probably be the last continuing. Okay, I'll take that probably and announce <laughs> it will be the last one. Mm -hmm. Ask the clerk, put it in the minutes. Continue this to 610. Thank you. Spencer Effett. Effett. Yes, Your Honor. Um, How do you pronounce that? Effett? Effett. Yes, Effett. Effett. Uh, I did waive his appearance today. Um, we received the the FDLE, and uh, I would like a chance to discuss it one more time if we could have one continuance. I was hoping to negotiate something a little different with the state, but um, yes. I, think, I think I think the offer is not going to change, so I need to be able to speak with my client. Okay, we'll continue this until 610. Thank you. 